Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Midwest Market Solutions Insider Commentaries. It is Monday, March the 20th. Thanks for joining us here. We're seeing mostly firmer prices overnight in the grains that led by soybean futures here. And I want to talk about the soybean market this morning. The commitment traders report that came out on Friday is bullish for soybeans. And that is going to surprise a lot of people. But how you interpret the uh, traders report is... Uh, Subject to a lot of different variations. The way I look at it, the commercials and the sentiment index both are in bullish readings right now. And uh, those are the two key factors to watch for. I know a lot of people will look at soybeans and anticipate that this market's the most bearish of all and it should go down. But according to this commitment traders report, it is a bullish market that should have some rally potential. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the commitment traders does not uh, not a very strong indicator of timing. So it may be a different time frame than today that uh, soybeans bottom and, and take off and rally. But it is flashing some bullish signals in here. And uh, this is obviously not the time to be making sales of the soybean market based off of this report. Now, we also saw very heavy commercial buying in the corn market last week. We saw very heavy selling in wheat futures by the funds. Those are also potential bullish signals for these grain markets that we are closer to some bottoms uh, than a top and, and this is a, an opportunity to reown corn and soybeans possibly wheat rather than be making sales and so a lot of the calls uh, that we get are talking about making sales especially in soybeans and with uh, the November average crop insurance price at 1017 for the month of February I just don't see any reason why you would be making sales with prices below that average. That is your guarantee on insurance prices this, at this time. There's opportunities down the road. Don't be making them today. Um, overnight, we are seeing harvest activity advance about 65% in Brazil, just about 10% done in Argentina. So a long ways to go as far as harvest. Our uh, attention is going to start turning towards U.S. planning weather. And the conditions in the plains, very warm. Some record temperatures in Kansas, well into the 80s. Uh, 92 has been reported in parts of Kansas. Uh, it came through Kansas City last night in about 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. It was still 82 degrees. It's still very warm. It's going to be warmer. Uh, this uh, next couple days and then it cools off there markets are looking ahead to this weekend's rain chances in the plains the cold fronts gonna come through give some rain chances and that could see this uh, market pull back in the uh, in the wheat market here US dollar has been plunging it has broken its uptrend line and with the plunge in the dollar that should be bullish for our exports so we'll keep you up to date uh, through our Twitter feed tech service and newsletters that come out each and every day as far as what's going on in the in the fundamentals and technicals of the market. But hope you have a great day trading. Good luck. And uh, of course, contact any of our offices if you have any questions. It's been Brian Hoops for Midwest Markets. Talk to you again soon.